We're going to turn now to medical news. It's some of the latest tech medical technology being used right here on the Sun Coast. And here to tell us more about the BioZ machine is the medical director of congestive heart failure services, Dr. E. Thomas Arnie Jr. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Tell us about this machine. It has an intriguing name. Well, what the BioZ is, is it's a heart monitoring machine that for the first time, and that's a picture of it as we can see, allows us to non-invasively evaluate how a patient's heart is pumping blood to the body as well as what the fluid content of their chest is. And um, how exactly does it work? You said non-invasive, so is it more like uh, an EKG or is it? Um, it's like an EKG machine and uh, what it is, it's actually cutting edge technology that was used by NASA to monitor the astronauts while they're up in space. And as you can see in the picture, we hook up a series of leads like an electrocardiogram and it sends a small electrical signal, which the patient doesn't feel, throughout the chest and it monitors the blood flow through measuring resistances and it gives us about 12 parameters to look at to see how the heart's pumping blood and what the fluid content of the chest is. How's this going to help you? Well, what it does is it allows us to quickly and accurately diagnose whether someone has a cardiovascular disorder. It allows us to give, a, give us an idea as to how to initiate treatment as well as how to fine tune their treatment, which prior to this machine, the only thing we could do is listen to what the patient had to say subjectively in a limited physical exam or we had to admit him to the ICU at the hospital and put in an invasive IV line which has complications such as bleeding and infection and heart rhythm problems. And, so it's, it's great technology. Who does this affect? Who do we see that needs it? Well, one, one in four people have some form of cardiovascular disease, and one in four adults have high blood pressure. And out of the 43 million people with high blood pressure, only 11 million of, 11 million of them are really adequately treated. And that's a very big risk factor for the development of congestive heart failure. And there are about 5 million people in the United States with heart failure. That actually, heart failure actually takes more lives than all forms of cancer combined. Hmm. Does it find a problem before the problem is actually uh, showing symptoms or is it used more as a diagnostic tool um, once a patient... Sometimes it can find something before the patient actually has symptoms because of the, the uh, parameters we do measure. Um, we utilize it uh, at Sarasota Memorial Hospital um, in our heart failure clinic as well as on the floors and in the ICUs. It's also used at several centers uh, such as Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, Yale, uh, Baylor. Um, it is affordable uh, for the patient and the physician. Medicare insurance and coverage. Uh, private insurance do cover it. And we should mention again this is really cutting-edge technology and uh, you even were asked to write some scenarios for a, a well-known TV show about this. Yeah. The other place where there's actually a BioZ is on the set of the TV show ER. And um, they have asked us to think about some scenarios that they could actually use in the TV show to use the BioZ machine for okay. that. And it's right here on the Sun Coast. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank we really appreciate it. Thank you.